everyone welcome to our uh, marine knowledge channel this is your sailor basha so today i would like to share some video about uh, maintenance work that uh, we need to do on a freshwater generator so usually uh, freshwater generator we need to clean the condenser clean the evaporator check for uh, all those anodes and everything so in that uh, one part is cleaning the condenser so i will try to show you what are all the checks that we need to do when you clean the condenser and how to clean the condenser procedure to remove and refit condenser cover so i'll try to give you maximum information whichever possible we'll go inside the video so before starting the job we have to stop the generator close the inlet and outlet of uh, sea water uh, valves so both the valves are closed you can see the fresh water generator is already stopped okay so we have to start removing all the bolts which is connected to the sea water pipe to condenser pipe condenser uh, cover pipe so we have to remove the connections which is connected to the condenser cover you can use uh, pneumatic machine for opening the bolts it will be more easier and uh, more faster also only thing is uh, you should use proper uh, box spanner if it is 19 you have to use exactly the same size if you use some different size you may damage the head of uh, bolts We are in the process of removing the condenser cover. These covers are heavy, so it should be lifted with the help of chain locks. You can see the condenser cover is already lifted with chain lock. Chain lock. Whenever you use a chain lock, as I say, every time you have to ensure you are using proper safety code, and the chain lock should be properly. In a good condition, all the safety should be followed when you are doing a lifting operation. So you can see all the nuts are removed and uh, the condenser uh, cover is ready to lower. So you can see the condenser has a height where you can put your uh, chili shackle, and the shackle can be connected with your. Chain lock. So now we are going to remove it. So this is bit heavy. So all you need to do is you have to little bit uh, shake it so that it will come out. So whenever you are opening this uh, cover, you have to be very careful because this is very heavy one. So yeah, that's all. I will be removing. So now the cover should be lowered and uh, should be secured properly safely. The condition of the tube. The tube condition is still good, but you can see some of the tubes are plugged. Means earlier this tube must have been leaked. That is the reason these tubes are plugged. But uh, generally, you can see the tubes are uh, clean, not so choked or something. But still, uh, it's a routine procedure that we need to do this cleaning of another tube every three months. And this is your uh, anode uh, flange. I will show you the anode flange uh, opening it. Zinc anode. And you can see the door. All these are special. So if you are not doing regularly the cleaning every three months, you can find a lot of sea uh, door barnacles inside the tube. You can see the tubes are still clean. Only you can uh, find the layer. All we need to do is just scrub, use a brush and clean it. Now we are opening the zinc anode flange. So whenever we do the inspection, we have to check the anode condition of your condenser cover. You can see this is the Z 
skin can or I can see lot of salt deposit on it. The anode is easy to clean, but we will do the buffing and now we started cleaning. So whenever you go a cleaning, use fresh water for cleaning. Initially spray water in all the tubes and this is your brush for cleaning the tubes. You have to manually clean each and every tubes. It's a little uh, painful job because uh, you have to go for each and every tubes for uh, cleaning. And you can see I removed the zinc anode cover. Whenever we change the anode, we need to ensure we are using proper size to change the character bottle. The easy way is one person should spray water on the tube and the other person should use a brush for me. This is your thermometer sensor, it senses your seawater temperature. This is how the thermometer is placed. That's the probe of this uh, thermometer. Okay. We are doing the buffing for uh, zinc anode so that you will exactly come to know what is the condition of your zinc anode. Because uh, by seeing it along with the salt deposit, we cannot make out whether you can use it again or uh, we have to replace it with a new one. But uh, the condition of this anode is still good, we can go for another 3 months. You can see a lot of uh, salt deposit on top of it. So we will do the puffing. Again, whenever you do puffing, make sure you are uh, wearing your safety goggles. Because this puffing wheel pressure, if it flies, it flies like a rocket. If it hits your eye, definitely you will get a eye injury. So to avoid that, use safety goggles. I'm going to remove the gaskets also. So whenever you change, whenever you open any flange, you better to change the gasket. So we are almost done with our teaching. We are in the final stage. We are almost uh, here. We have to clean more than 100 tubes. So these are the gaskets. You can see the difference between, between old and the new gasket. So we renew it. Cleaning is done, so you have to ensure your boards are in good condition before putting the cover. You have to give a coat of grease. This is your cover. Just to inspect the condition of the cover and buff the gasket area so that we put enough in our oxygen tank and. Uh, we have to instruct the inner side of the cover and remove all the rust, whatever barnacles, everything by using buffing machine. All boards should be properly cleaned, buffed. So now we are done with our cleaning of tubes. Now next process is to fit back the cover. You can see we have cleaned the cover of the gasket area and everything so again whenever you are lifting any heavy object lift it uh, properly use always proper lifting tool so now we are lifting the cover so when you are going to fix the cover ensure you are uh, lifting the uh, gasket and uh, gasket should be properly fitted uh, all flanges should be fitted with new gaskets so that you can avoid leaking after the system is back to operation. You can see the new gasket, new gasket in place. Again, this is uh, other gasket for the sea water line. And for the condenser, we use a rubber gasket. So the cover is in place. Now we are putting back the bolts connections are given so 
this job is basically a simple job but all you need to do is you need to be little bit careful because you are handling a heavy object this condenser is uh, condenser cover is really very heavy so you have to be very careful when you are doing that and you have to use soft brush for cleaning the tube you do not use any hard brush for uh, cleaning the tube because you may end up into damaging the tubes these are uh, proper tubes so you also use your soft brush to connections or even back to get that new gaskets all boards should be greased with uh, all, all boards should be properly greased we are using the same manual because the condition is still ok it can be sent for under 3 months gasket that the anode in place so put the anode in the instructor so the instructor is all this fit to push for another three months so no need to renew it so we are tightening back After uh, watching this video, you must have got some idea about uh, how to clean a fresh water generator condenser, how to remove, how to refit, what are all the checks that we need to do while uh, cleaning a condenser, what is the proper way to clean the condenser. I believe this video must have given you some information, some idea about uh, maintenance work which has to be done in a fresh water generator. If you have any comment, please put in comment box. Definitely I will reply you. Keep supporting. Thank you guys.